Hello and welcome to this crypt and welcome to the video zone. I'm Charles Band and I'm here to talk to you a little bit about some uh, new upcoming full moon releases. Uh, our very next show will be called The Vampire Journals. Uh, it's going to be out probably around July, August of 1996. It's being uh, directed and it's written by Ted Nicolau. Ted and I go back a lot of years. Uh, Ted did uh, all three of the subspecies shows, and I know there are a lot of subspecies fans out there. Vampire Journals is a whole new uh, concoction. We're shooting it on location, of course, in Bucharest, Romania, with some live locations in Transylvania. It's a whole new set of characters. Uh, I don't think anyone who loves the uh, subspecies shows will be disappointed. After the Vampire Journals will be Curse of the Puppet Master. It's a whole new direction for Andre Toulon's puppets. Uh, not only are they back uh, during the World War II era, uh, they're on a large uh, ship, uh, they're fighting Nazis, there's a whole uh, Egyptian motif, and I don't want to tell you too much, but it's, I think, going to be a lot of fun for the fans, and hopefully for new fans of our, uh, one of our most successful franchises. I think we're entering our eighth year here at Full Moon. We hope to continue to bring you guys uh, six to eight pictures a year, and it's, uh, it's always a thrill. It's, uh, you know, it's quite a thing. We've got over 50,000 members now of our Full Moon Fan Club, and you know, we have our new website up now for about a half a year where we're going to continue to update those of you who are into the, uh, the web. And uh, what can I say? It's been a lot of fun, and uh, I'll see you, of course, on the next edition of the Video Zone. It was a project that I thought I could have a lot of fun with because it was an opportunity to combine all of the classic uh, Western imagery with science fiction imagery. so that was a natural and the western genre is something that has been kind of utilized in the sci-fi genre quite a bit i mean a lot of people think that star wars is essentially a western just set in space and uh so it's it's a lot of good versus evil the bad guys versus the good guys and um everything is really larger than life and i i, I was really drawn to it for that reason I had very definite ideas about being very distinctive with each character. It was, it was really, I had a look in mind for each of them, but I also had, had certain character types. And, uh, and I just felt that it really needed uh, a gallery of very extreme types in, in every character. 
I thought it was wonderful. I thought it was mythical. I thought it incorporated everything. It's like Oz on the moon or Oz on Mars. Well, it's a combo western, uh, an a a space thing, alien planet, alien life forms. No, the no, genre no. is more western with uh, an overlay of uh, the Star Trek sort of thing. So it was a very interesting uh, reading. I hate him. I really hate him. I really, really hate him. I hate his guts. I'd like to squeeze his head until his brain oozed out through his nostrils. No, I think once I, I read the script and once I saw the outfit and started putting the thing together and got that whip in my hand. I just started getting a feeling for it. Then it can hold me back, I'm sure God. No, but it was a lot of fun. It, um, you know, um, just on every wild woman, I, you know, I saw uh, some photographs of Betty Page when we were originally shopping for some of the clothes, you know, and I, I saw the whole image with the whip and the black hair and, the, and you know, all her photographs she did. And, um, I like the look of it, you know, I want to have that kind of a look with, you know, an outrageous quality to her. Well, I tend to, I mean, I guess my, where my stamp comes in is just the quirkiness. The, I mean, it's, at, at every turn I tried to um, underline the, the humor and the dark humor and the, and, and in certain cases, like in George the Cave Star Trek references, the tongue in cheek or the, the, the sillier humor. What I liked about Sam actually is he's really a good director mm -hmm. and he's good because he allows you the leeway mm -hmm. to create and then shape what you bring to it. Yeah. Sometimes being impulsive is preferable. Action. Speak louder than words. A lot of people relate us to the Lone Ranger and Tano, but I'd like to say we go far beyond that. Butch Cassidy and Sundance? I don't think so. I like to think of Laurel and Hardy. Or Judy and Mickey. It's a little bit of that in us, a little bit of that in everybody, I guess. I've seen some really nice action stuff, which is, I guess, uh, the first time that Sam has been doing so much action-oriented stuff, but it looks very nice. Okay, and action! I put him there. We put any, it, whoever's okay. being bad, this is where they go. This is not a prop in the film at all. It's just for crew members that have been bad. been a huge fan of Ray Harryhausen and stop-motion animation um, and I've always wanted to work with it and this was my first opportunity to really get in and get my, my feet wet. It, it's always difficult on the actors because they're having to imagine what what creature is standing before them that's really invisible that they have to react to uh, but um, Aside from, from just the actor's dilemma of having to create in their mind what they're screaming about, uh, it's a really fun stuff to do. It's like putting pieces of a puzzle together. It's really magic. He's assembled a great cast, and um, he's very giving and very generous and very clear and very funny. Ensemble pieces are the best. That's where you have the most fun. And you don't have to carry the entire piece. So you sleep at night, you have days off, and you have a wonderful spirit. It was uh, an experience that I will always remember, always. Yeah. Anything can happen in the That's future. True, yeah. It hasn't been established as of yet. No. So you can do anything. Nobody can say that's not correct. No. It's your interpretation of what the future is. You know? It was all in the spirit of fun. Um, we wanted to tell an interesting story and have, and have main characters that you really cared about. 
I hope you come on back sometime and listen to our story we want to tell you. And, uh, well, I hope I bump into you sometime if you ever visit our plant. are back and attacking your CD-ROM. The creators of the Hit Puppet Master video series take you on a horrifying, fantastic journey into the lives and deaths of Andre Toulon and his amazing puppets. With Origins of the Puppet Master, you'll trace the history of this sinister, terrifying gang through beautifully illustrated comic book art. As you peruse the panels, selected images come to life playing out live-action scenes from the Puppet Master films. I think we will be safe here. Tomorrow we start all over again. of the Puppet Master. Welcome to the cinema of science fiction. A dimension of giant robots, awesome spaceships, mad scientists, and strange aliens. You've always dreamed of being the master of this movie universe. Now your dreams become reality with Cinemaker's Sci-Fi Movie Machine. Cinemaker's Sci-Fi Movie Machine finally puts you in the director's seat. At last, you've got the power to create your own movies by tapping into our memory bank. You'll find hundreds of digitized film clips, such as robotics, explosions, giant scorpions and more they're doing some wonderful things every scene you need to assemble your own science fiction film in our preview bay a user-friendly computer lets you pull from a menu of clips the sci-fi movie machine generates thousands of cinematic possibilities create new films as short as a few seconds or an epic the size of infinity Then, when you're ready to screen your creation, step up to Mission Control and let the show begin. run wild. Become the master of your virtual reality with the Cinemaker Sci-Fi Movie Machine. Journey to the newest dimension in interactive entertainment. stores or through full moon merchandising.
Stuart Gordon, the director of Fortress, The Pit and the Pendulum, and Reanimator, takes you into the dungeons of Castle Dorcino. Now, an American family. Welcome to Castle Riley, Wade. Will inherit a legacy of evil. They say the gods of evil. Mm. And a master of modern horror. his most terrifying creation. Stuart Gordon's Castle Free. Crampton in Stuart Gordon's Castle. I started out as a film editor and um, edited a number of films and quite a few films for Charlie Band also and uh, wrote a script for a film called Assault of the Killer Bimbos and also directed a film, wrote and directed a film called Terror Vision, which is um, a favorite among a group of kids, I'd say, from 12 to 22, something like that. We get some fan letters every once in a while for the film. Um, it's like an absurdist monster movie that... Uh, is hated by certain people and loved by other people. Subspecies is a vampire movie, and I, as far as I know, it's the first vampire movie that has ever been actually shot in Transylvania. And um, in shooting there, we got uh, the benefits of shooting in a very unique place with a uh, rich and frightening history in locations that are, that are mystical and, and just have the, a look that you couldn't get anywhere else in the world. It's a story about uh, two American girls who come to Romania to study the legends of, and folklore of uh, Transylvania and find themselves involved with uh, some vampires who are on the warpath with each other and, and uh, end up turning into vampires themselves. The subspecies act in our film as familiars to the evil vampire. The evil vampire is sort of not only a vampire and a bloodsucker, but he's also a uh, black magician. And he's learned the art of creating these little creatures that do his bidding. And the way he does it is he breaks off his fingers and tosses them to the ground. And they, like, bubble up and writhe into these foul little creatures. The way we realized this on film was we uh, built these costumes that would be that real-sized people could uh, wear. And then we built sets in Romania that are, like, six times normal size. And they were built to match certain sets that we were shooting some of our scenes on. And we shot these characters from kind of Baroque camera angles using special lenses and special techniques of blue screen and forced perspective and undercranking the, uh, the film to give them a, a strange quality of movement. And we used these uh, Romanian stuntmen who we were always having to kind of crack the whip on and pull back the reins because they wanted to, like, show off their stuff and do backflips and... and uh, go crazy for us. 
The uh, interesting thing about working in Transylvania, though, is that vampires aren't really a part of their local lore. Uh, the Transylvanians are more into werewolves and ghosts. So uh, we found people just kind of looked at us mildly, mildly amused at the idea that we were making a vampire movie, and they sort of look at it as this uniquely Western fascination that's kind of silly. My name is Musetta Vander, and I play Lash in Full Moon's theatrical release, Oblivion. I'm here today at Hollywood Sunset Ranch to tell you about the great new merchandise and fan club bonuses that Full Moon is now offering. The best way to find out about Full Moon's hottest new movies and to get the inside scoop on our stars and special effects is by joining the Full Moon Fan Club for only $20. You'll get the Moon Flash newsletter with up-to-the-minute information about Full Moon magic. Your lifetime membership also gets you the official Full Moon t-shirt with our logo printed on the front and the back of your shirt. Full Moon has spent months creating our most exciting collector's items. To find out about them, be sure to get your free copy of Dark Side of the Moon. This special fold-out issue shows you how you can order everything, from Full Moon videos, to posters, to CDs, and mugs. You can even get such extra special items as original scripts, press kits, a Full Moon leather jacket, and a shrunken head display case. For more information about joining the Full Moon Fan Club, and to get your free issue of Dark Side of the Moon, you can call the Full Moon Hotline at 1-800-999-9559, or you can write to us at Full Moon Entertainment, 8721 Santa Monica Boulevard, Suite 526, West Hollywood, California, 90068. Thanks for staying tuned.